Now that I'm here hanging out at Oshkosh, it's your turn to join the festivities and fly in. Hey everyone, Clay from Claviation.com. If you followed along on the Flying to Oshkosh series, you might have wanted to try the flight yourself. Now's your chance. So hop in the virtual general aviation airplane of your choice and head my way. I'll show you how you can participate, and if you fly the route in a specific date range, you might just be selected to win a joystick, yoke, or rudder pedals doing it. Here's how it works, and I'll provide the links in the description of this video. In episode 3, we discussed landing and installed a great little landing plugin that helps us judge our landing. It tells us whether the landing was good, excellent, or sometimes asked if anyone survived. It also gives you a descent rate at touchdown. So to start your journey, download and install the landing plugin from episode 3. To fly this challenge, load up at the airport of your choice and head towards Oshkosh. It could be your home airport hundreds of miles away, or a nearby airport just a few miles outside of Oshkosh. The important thing is that you navigate to the starting point of Ripon. If you want to see the arrival in real time, be sure to check out Leg 5 of the Flying to Oshkosh series to see it in action. I've included a link below to install the scenery for Oshkosh for your arrival. Once you have the landing plugin installed and the Oshkosh scenery installed, start your challenge at Ripon at 90 knots and 1800 feet. Follow the railroad tracks out of the northeast corner of Ripon over to Fisk. Feel free to rock your wings a half a mile or so shy of Fisk if you like. Passing Fisk, continue to follow the railroad tracks to Oshkosh and enter a right downwind for runway 27. Basically, the tracks will take you to the gravel pit. So fly just inside the gravel pit and parallel to the runway. Stay at 1800 feet and 90 knots. And then once you're midfield, which is somewhere around the white dot on the runway, start your descent. Turn to the right inside the shoreline for a tight base and final approach and try to land as close to the orange dot as you can. After your arrival, join the conversation over at the xplane.org flight school. There's a link in the description for the challenge discussion post. Once you're there, tell us how it went. Post a screenshot of any portion of your arrival, but keep in mind that the screenshot must meet the size guidelines of the xplane.org screenshot policy, so make sure they aren't too big. Tell us how close to the orange dot you were at touchdown in your best estimation and what your landing plug-in data was. I'll post mine up first on the forum with a reminder of the things you need to post to be eligible to win the giveaway. Keep in mind, this isn't a contest. It doesn't matter how well you did, so be honest and just have some fun with it. All we want to see is your screenshot of your favorite part of your arrival, your estimation of how close to the dot you were, and how the landing plug-in graded your landing. We'll pick a winner at random from everyone who posted every two weeks. That should give you plenty of time to get involved if you didn't catch this video right away. And even if you don't win on the first week, you still have a shot on all the future weeks just by having your post up. Even if you don't want to participate and contribute, feel free to head over and join in on the conversation, congratulating our friends on their approach and landing. While you're here, don't forget about your subscribe checklist. So like this video and let me know you're watching. Subscribe to the channel and keep up with all the videos. And comment down below if you feel so inclined. Check the description for a summary of the challenge and link to the downloads you need and the forum to post up your results, as well as the dates. Have a great time, and I'll see you at Oshkosh. Until then, enjoy your flying.